like and i was literally after that i was sick to my stomach <laughs> welcome back to my channel for today's video we are going to be doing a story time just because y'all have been dying to hear about nurse bay and i mentioned him before in my day in the life as a phlebotomist if you have not watched that video if you're new here go check it out right here i mentioned him before and i mentioned him a few times in a couple of my videos and i was gonna tell y'all like some updates on him because y'all were very very interested when i first mentioned him it's ish is crazy like this shit is i like i was shook i did not see this coming so it was definitely like a what is them what do they call it in the movies um a plot twister <laughs> it was definitely a plot twist um to the story before you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel because girl like what are you doing like you're here for a reason and one reason only so make sure you click subscribe so you're always tuned into my videos okay and that's period okay y'all before we get started i do have to talk about my hair i love this hair it's so bomb like i haven't had curly hair in so long y'all this is giving me very vacation mommy mommy i'm not and y'all know i'm half mexican so this kind of hair really gives me life and it brings out my features because y'all know i have like chinky eyes and you know i'm out you know i'm foreign or whatever so what what you gotta say and this wig is from abby hair all the details will be in the description box below so this is me having it in for two well i had it in for a couple days now but this is me not wetting it or nothing putting no mousse or gel on it for two days now and it looks very very good i forgot what inch this is but i told them to give me the longest one because i love long curly hair and this is a transparent lace i think i don't know if it ain't it look like it it looks like it's my hair so but i am about to do my baby hairs over because they need to be brought back to life and what I really like about this wig, it does not get netted in the back. Like, I do not like curly hair like that. But yeah, y'all can clearly see it does not get netted in the back. And we love that, okay? It's about to be glue on it. Fresh bottle. But yeah, y'all, like I said, I think this is a medium brown lace. This is a good lace, so you can definitely manipulate it as if it was a transparent because because I need to get a box. 
because I be getting makeup on my scarves and I don't be washing them. And then I be wanting to reuse them like while I go to sleep and I can't because they're dirty. And I don't want dirty shit on my skin while I sleep. My makeup, I want my hair to be weighed down at the end of the day. Like I do not like dry looking hair. I like my hair to look wet. I haven't had curly hair in so long, so I've been enjoying it. Like this hair, no makeup, just lashes, bitch, it's a vibe. Ooh, look at them, look at them. Look at those waves, bitch. We're going to the motherfucking ocean, okay. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna be taking some more got to be glue and I'm just gonna put like this much on my hand and then just rub it through it just so I can weigh this hair down. Look how easy I'm running my hands through this. I love this hair. This is the best wig ever. And I love like, oh my God, this wig is so pretty. Okay, y'all, so that is it for right now. Um, so yeah, make sure you check the description box below. This is Abby hair this hair is so beautiful you need to get one and you need to get one for the house like you need to get one for the house this is literally that wake up effortless hair no makeup hair so okay y'all so let's get into it so basically so i started working at my job my part-time job um when did i start I started in June and you know I was working whatever casually then two months go by I'm gonna just tell y'all like how he came about then our engagement and then you know everything up until recent okay so we get assigned units for our draws or whatever kids you know I work part-time at a hospital and I'm a phlebotomist so I draw blood so I go on floors all the time different floors every day so literally one day i was scheduled to go you know my normal routine get a get a pack of draws go to the floor and you know do what it do i happen to see him i'm like what the fuck is this like who is this like i'm just like do a light skin face hey 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 like what so because you just don't normally see black nurses so i'm like who is this fine ass nurse like chocolate beer oh baby like oh y'all y'all should have seen me i was just like i was starstruck at like i don't even know if it's starstruck like what is it what's the word for it i don't know but i was in shock so I'm like, who is this? Like, what the fuck? So I see him, but I didn't have one of his patients. So, but we seen each other, but I didn't have one of his patients. So, so I was in a room and I think he seen me go in the room cause this was not his patient. So, but the patient was black, giving me a hard ass time with his fucking, you know, giving me a hard time. He was a black man, give me a hard time. And then the nurse was in there already like, trying to like calm him down and stuff like that so he comes in there like you giving her a hard time and i'm like what yes he is sweet like tell him to shut the fuck up but no like he came in there and was like you giving her a hard time like trying to calm the patient down for me and i'm like what the fuck? and this is my first time seeing him y'all first time seeing him so I'm like, who is this? Like, who the fuck is this man? 
then you know i didn't really say too much we was just like talking about the patient or whatever so it wasn't really that many words exchanged at that point because i mean we can't really say too much because i mean this is my first time seeing him i don't even know him i don't even know where the fuck he came from but he's fine and i'm gonna always remember his face a month like two months went by and i didn't see him again because um, like I said, we don't be assigned these floors, the same floors every day and probably, you know, his schedule did not mesh with mine of me going on that floor so I never seen him. Then one day I went up there again and I seen him again <laughs> and he is so nice. Like he will help you get a blood draw. Like he'll be like, oh, do you need anything? Like, do you need me to help you with anything? Or if he needed a blood draw, he would put like... So he'll politely ask you like, hey, can you get a blood draw for me? Like he'll go in the room with you and no nurses do that. They be like, go get your blood, bye. He's just nice, okay? Yes, but all the other lab girls said that he they were nice to him because I was always like, yeah, did y'all see that black nurse on this floor? And they like, no. And then every time I say, like mention it to them, they be like, oh my God, Cara, I did see him. Like he be, um, he's nice or whatever him. I was in a room with him with a patient we was waiting because a heparin draw you have to wait i'm telling y'all all this for about me shit but you have to wait to um iv to beat before you can draw um we were waiting for the iv to stop and he starts singing he like <laughs> okay. in my head i'm like what like he hit a note like this nigga hit a note and I'm like, oh, so you sing? And he was like, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I feel like he was just trying to show off or show me something real quick. Um, so then after that, a couple more months went by, and you know, we just casually talking. Like every time I see him, um, it would just be like he's just being extra nice. I feel like he didn't want to push up on me right away because you know you gotta feel it out. You gotta feel the vibes. You can't be pushing on nobody. You know that you work with you know it's just work so it's like weird to get at somebody and mind y'all I never I never had any interest in anybody that I ever worked with like so this is all like new to me like I don't know how to handle that as far as like who finna make the first move or something like that but I was definitely in I mean I'm not gonna say I was interested right away because I'm not and I'm not going I'm not the person that I'm going to let you know that I'm interested but like I'm not the type to show you right away that I want you but I am going to allow you to allow you to show me that you want me that you're interested in me if that makes sense so I'm gonna let you do what I do but I'm not gonna do nothing <laughs> I'm not one of those people that put they self out there um, I'm just not. I'm, I'm shy. Yeah, and I like to play hearts again. I know. I like to be chased. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so fast forward to like, we'll just fast forward to like recently. We never like, you know, took it that deep into conversations until up until February. So this was like a week after my birthday. So me and my coworker went to that floor that day. And she was like, oh my God, I got a real man here. And I was like, oh shit, oh shit. And then I be like acting casual. Like, like you're not gonna see me like that I'm gonna flirt with you or nothing. I was just acting casual. So like normal, he'll be like, do y'all need anything? Woo woo. So he said it to her first, but I just walked right in the room that I was going into. And he came and proceeded to go in the room with me and i needed somebody to hold an arm for me for a patient because sometimes these patients be moving y'all like i we need extra help they be like combative fighting all type of shit. But he um insisted that he wanted to help me and i'm like no nah. like you know i was playing it cool like i'm like no nah, that's okay i'm gonna have my co-worker help me and then he was like no nah, no nah, i got you i got you and i was like no 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 it's fine 
And then he was like, for real, like, I got you, I can hold. Like, he was like, you don't think I can hold? I was like, okay, fine, come on. That's besides the point. I didn't get the fucking draw because he wasn't holding it good enough. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna just have my homegirl help me hold or whatever. And he was like, I can do it again. I'm sorry. Like, like I got you for real. And I was like, no, that's okay. I'm going to just have my friend do it. So I had went to go do another draw. And I came back to um, redraw that patient. And I was waiting for my coworker to come. So anyway, so I went back in the room. And I was waiting for my coworker to get done with her draw. So um, she could help me hold. So then he came back in the room. Mind you, like, the room is clear. Like, it's just me in there. So, he came back in and was like, come on, let's do it. And I was like, oh, fuck it. Okay, come on. Okay, y'all. So, where I left off, he's, like, holding the arm next to me. So, he's, like, next to me right here. Like, you know, we, like, chest and back at this point. Like, he's all up in my mix, you know? Because he had called me sis. He was like, some, some sis. And I was like, What? don't ever call me sis like i'm not your sis like what's like what like and i feel like he said that just to like see what i would say like because you know if i was interested in a dude or something like that I'm not saying i would say this but i would be like bro and they would be like bro so if that's what you want me to be you want me to be your bro like just to see like where my head is at you know like if i'm feeling him or not Cause if I wasn't, I would have been like, yeah, bro. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said anything. But obviously, you know, I was interested. Like, I'm like, is this my man or what? So I was like, don't call me sis. And he was like, oh, so you trying to be my lady friend? And I was just like, my job. He next to me, and so I was like, I can't be. <laughs> I was just like i can be like what's up and then i was like how old are you like i was curious and he told me his age like and then i told him my age and then i was like yeah my birthday just passed on the 24th and he was like oh my birthday is march march what do you say march the first week of march it was sometime first week of march but y'all know the first week of march is pisces season still so I'm just like, oh my God, like I cannot get a break. Like, Lord, really? Why do you keep bringing all these Pisces men in my life? So I just did like a, like a big sigh. He was like, what's that for? Nuh-uh, don't be doing that. And I was like, uh, I haven't been, had the best experiences with Pisces men. He was like, uh-uh, I don't do that. Like, <laughs> I have to change my voice to let y'all know, like he wasn't sounding like that but anyway he was like i don't go by those like horoscopes and stuff and i was just like i just haven't had the best experiences with pisces but okay i'll take a chance on you like in my head i was like okay i'll take a chance so oh like we get engaged in conversation i told him i don't want to be his sis i want to be his lady friend what's up like we we good the next time i'm see him i i think i'm gonna get his number i think he gonna give me my number in my head i'm like he gonna give me that number <laughs> So after that, I didn't see him for like two days, but I knew his birthday was coming up. So I was at work and I was telling my coworker like, oh my God, like I want to go tell him happy birthday. Like I want to go see to his floor and tell him, but I'm like, I'm not no stalking ass bitch. Like I don't do, like I don't chase niggas, y'all. I just don't. I just don't chase niggas. I like niggas for niggas to chase me. You know what I'm saying? So, literally crazy all day. I'm like, I, I wish I could see him, but I'm not going there. So, literally, I never see him on the floor. I never see him, like, nowhere in the hallways, just on in his floor, his little area he be working in. So, me and my coworker were leaving. Walking, 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 walking you know going going home going to the lab to go home so it's crazy i literally see down the motherfucking hallway it's mommy it's nurse bag coming this way towards us and we going that way so i'm like oh my god like i wanted to see him all day this is crazy god showing up okay so um i was like happy birthday i was like happy birthday and then he was like <laughs> like he was like he tapped me on my my um shoulders like oh, like because he was on the phone 
So I was like, happy birthday. And he was like, how you know? And I was like, you told me, duh. So I'm like, he don't even pay attention to me. So he must be telling everybody his birthday. But anyway, so I told him. At least I told him so he continued to walk. So we going downstairs, get my stuff, get my shit to go. Then come upstairs. He waiting right there. My man is waiting on me, sweetie. Like, I'm like, oh my God. And y'all, I be looking a mess in the morning. So sometimes I don't be wanting to get that close to him because I be looking a mess. But he don't care. He don't give a fuck. So he was like, so he walked up to me all cute with his little blueberry muffin he got from the cafeteria because y'all know he's working early. So that must have been his breakfast or whatever. But he came up to me all cute like, where my birthday get that? And how in my head I'm like, baby, like, you know, damn well I can't give you your birthday gift here. Like in my head I'm saying this. My mean ass. I'm like, where's my gift? Like, where's mine? My birthday was first. And then he was like, he was like, you know what? I'ma see what I can do. Popping out more. I was like, oh, say less. And I was like, oh yes, okay. Period. So, so that happened. So he went on his way and. I Okay, y'all, so I did have to change my lighting and stuff like that just because the I was using natural light and the sun went down, so I had to bring out my lights. So hopefully this looks decent, okay? Back to where I left off. So I ended up seeing him again like two weeks later. Uh, me and my homegirls we were waiting by the elevators where you exit because it wasn't time for us to go yet necessarily but we were done with our work so we were just chilling on the floor and then lo and behold we just chilling here he come and he was like are y'all working or hardly working and I was like baby we working what you talking about like we working like and he comes up to us start making conversation he's like yeah so we gotta celebrate our birthday so he was like so take my number down old school he wrote on the paper and i was like oh shit oh shit. real high girl shit i finally got the fucking number like but i'm not gonna use it right away fuck that but i got the number okay you gotta leave a nigga waiting you gotta leave a nigga's mind wondering you know like that's what i do and he's no different that I'm gonna treat him like that. So, I waited two weeks to use his number. Two weeks. And then, obviously, we're now in quarantine. So, I was bored. And I um, saved the number and everything. So, I was like, I'm finna text him and see what he will say to me. Like, I'm bored. I wanna see. It's been two weeks. It's good enough, you know. I started typing it in, like, in my phone. Y'all know if you have an iPhone um if somebody's number is an android it'll come up green this is all i said i'm gonna put on the screen i'm gonna be i was like so you have an android that's literally all i said just to like be funny you know and he did not text me back he didn't text me back all fucking day so i'm like what the fuck like he must be with a bitch or something like and she probably was like what the fuck is that? and then he was probably like i don't know somebody playing on my phone you know how niggas be couple days went past and then i had to go back to work and i had asked my friend i told my friend i was like yeah i texted him and he didn't even text me back like what the fuck so then she was like maybe you know like he didn't get no service or something like that because she has i think she no she don't got no android but she has an iPhone. She was like, maybe he didn't get no service or something. And I'm like, nah, like, mm -mm. like that would just wasn't enough for me. So I'm like, text his phone to see if it's his number. So I, and my job, all she said was hey or something like that. And then he texts back right away, like, who is this? I was like, what the fuck? So she was like, yeah, that's his number. And I was like, never mind, just say um wrong number or something so i'm like that's his number though so but i'm not gonna double text i don't double text if you're not my man i'm not gonna blow you up double text no none of that i'm gonna just wait to see you in person i was just like i'm gonna just wait to see him in person to let him know like what the fuck two days later um i end up seeing him but it was a bad encounter because girl i was getting in trouble at work and me and my homegirl was walking with my um 
team lead. I don't care. Like at this point, I don't need this fucking job. So some of the stuff that they be wanting us to do, I don't approve of. So anyway, so my team leader, whatever, she found us, whatever, we walking downstairs to go home. So then I hear his voice behind me. It's like, is y'all working hard or hardly working? And it's in the same hallway we um, encountered when I told him happy birthday. So I, I heard his voice, but I didn't turn around yet. Like, I want to make sure he was talking to me. So I just, you know, proceeded my way. And then he repeated himself. He was like, is y'all working or hardly working? And then he like touched me on my stomach, like a little tap, tap. And then I was like, oh, hey. I was like, oh, hey. Like, <laughs> like I didn't hear you the first time. I wanted to tell him so bad that I texted him, but I didn't get the opportunity because my nosy ass team lead was right there. So I was like, I'm not even gonna say nothing. I'm gonna just wait to see him again. And then I'm gonna say something. It's about to get fucking real bitch um i had to work a couple days ago and so this was up until recently so i was getting out my car and i was like oh i hope i see him today but i don't know because i don't know like his work schedule or nothing but i know he was at work because you know work, nurses work like seven days off seven days off whatever whatever the fucking schedule they got so i'm like oh i hope i see him today so i can tell him so i can tell my baby like i wouldn't think about him baby i text you and you text me back like what the fuck i want to know what's tea why you ain't text me back so that day i was like oh i hope i see him lord please show out for me uh, it's crazy because i end up having the floor he works on so i'm like okay like i gotta make sure like i'm looking cute and i had just got my hair done so i was you know prepared to see him to run it to him i was like you know what i'm gonna do his floor last because i don't want to get my hopes up that he not here today and i don't want to have a bad day i don't want to be upset so i'm like let me do these other draws first and then i'm gonna go to his floor and see if he's here so they called me asap because i guess i had an add-on draw to go to that floor to his area that i was saving for last but they end up calling me to go do um a stat draw or something like that so i'm like okay now i'm gonna see if he's here or not there but there's two areas to his area one is like one area where one set of nurses sit and then the other area where another set of nurses sit and then like one area is where the high numbers room numbers are at and then the other set is where the low number rooms so i was in the high number and i didn't see him so i'm like uh he probably not here today because i wanted to know like why he didn't text me like normal people would just be like who is this or something in that nature so i went to do the other draws and then i came back so i ended up walking in the other way and i was like uh i don't see him he's not here boo hoo hoo cry me a fucking river and i was like uh whatever so i go in the room where i'm supposed to go i come out because i so forgot something and then i come outside to my cart girl the fucking uh was playing in my head like like <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but what's that instrument when it's like when they play it on movies like uh I don't know but I walked outside to my car and he was right there waiting on me he was waiting on little old me y'all like shit's getting crazy shit is getting real and it real I was like oh my baby here I can finally tell him so he was just standing right there and he was like oh I will hug you but you know we gotta be six feet apart and then I was like oh yeah I was like so you been quarantined and then he was like yeah but you know i was supposed to been come see you because i'll be out them ways you know because he does stuff outside of um nursing so he does other stuff where the area that i live in so he was like i was supposed to been come see you and i was like oh baby but wait wait hold up let me go do this draw and i'm gonna come back and tell you what happened you happened because you didn't text me back i didn't say that but i was supposed to been come see you like what's up so he's basically referring to why I didn't use his number yet. So I'm like, oh, um, so you have an Android. And then he was like, oh, that was you? And I was like, yeah, that was me. I was like, why you didn't text back? He was like, oh, I didn't know who's playing on my phone. <laughs>
she might come for that bitch or something like and she probably was like, who the fuck is that? And then he was probably like, I don't know, somebody playing on my phone. Y'all know how niggas be. And I was like, oh, normal people just say, who is this? He was like, mm, yeah. And, um, he was like, okay, I'm about to text it back. And then I was like, okay. And then they called me to do another draw. <clears throat> and he was right there when they told me to go. So I was like, okay, well, you have a good day. And I'll see you, like, come find me when you leave, before you leave or something like that. He was like, okay, I will. Go to my floor and he heard what floor I was on. So he came to look for me. Um, I could see him like coming my way. Like, so he's coming up to me, walking up, and then he's like, so what you doing after work today? I was like, oh, nothing, what's up? And he was like, you should come over. And I was like, I should come over. <sighs> it's um 7 a.m. and what you like what we finna do netflix some morning chill i was like you so you trying to netflix some morning chill or something he was like yeah we can like order breakfast you know and I'm, okay like i don't got shit else to do so and i wanted to see where this was gonna go i wanted to see like what his intention was i wanted to have like a good conversation with him obviously i didn't have a chance to because he didn't text me back so we you know really didn't exchange words like that like a good serious conversation so i was just like fuck it like i don't got shit else to do so i'm gonna just go i was like okay and then i was like but i need to take a shower like like i don't have no clothes like i don't and he was like oh don't worry i got you he was like don't worry i'm gonna get you some stuff i'm gonna get you body wash like feminine wash or whatever and i was like okay cool so where do you live and he was like oh i live on a lake and i was like oh shit he got big money so i'm like okay well i'll see you after um just text me he was like okay i'm gonna see you i'm gonna text you just at this point i'm just like in the days like i'm like he invited me over i just don't want him to push up on me though like he doesn't portray himself as that so i was like okay i'm gonna just go that's part of the reason why I said I would go um, to his house so quickly because like he's a gentleman, he's nice, I don't think he would be like crazy, psycho, like he seems like whatever. So and I was like he wouldn't do nothing crazy because we work together like what the fuck. So, then um, he started texting me so like during work still because we're still at work. And I'll put it on the screen. He was like, I can't wait to see you later. I'm looking forward to it. And I was like, oh, likewise. So he was like, I can rub you down in baby oil and put you to sleep. I was just like, oh, fuck. Like, I hope he do not try. Like, I can see, like, us taking a nap. You rubbing me down, woo, woo, woo. But I was just like, okay, if that's what you want to do, like, just to see if Cause you know like whatever I'm all for a little rub down but don't try it so, so my y'all he's telling me he lives on the lake and the lake is like downtown like in a nice area so I'm like oh he got big money so I'm like driving to his house and it's all big ass houses all big houses and I'm like woo thank you Jesus he got a nice ass house nice ass job woo I done caught baby like I done caught okay and he a gentleman and he fine like but you know it's always a fucking it's always something it's literally always something you never get the whole fucking package do 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 whatever and i'm looking around like oh big ass houses thinking I'm, i think i'm like at this point i think i'm in a tyler perry movie because y'all know like the girl a man like you know a little love story or whatnot like i'm just trying to see like a little something different because i never had a work encounter before so it's all this is all new to me so i'm driving up to his house and we getting a little closer to the address and i'm looking around the house is starting to get a little smaller a little smaller smaller a little dirtier <laughs> well not dirtier but a little trappier looking and um so i pull up to the house yeah this house looked it so fucking ghetto i was like no this can't fucking be like 
he don't look like somebody that would live like this. So it was just like mind blowing to me. It was like whatever. But I wasn't judging. You know, I wasn't judging. Because, you know, sometimes the houses are renovated on the inside. So you never know. So, um, and it's right on the lake. It's right there on the lake. So it's like a little lake house type of vibe. So I go in there and um, I'm entering bitch it's some steep ass steps up to a motherfucking attic i'm like what like you don't live in a whole house like but you know i wasn't still at this point i wasn't judging but it was just like what the fuck is going like what like you live like this like i didn't think he would live like this like i'm not judging or nothing but in my head I'm just like, oh, he probably had a nice ass house. Woo woo woo. I'm finna be comfortable. Cause I can't be chilling somewhere I'm not comfortable. And it's like, I just, I just can't. Like, I can't. So, we going upstairs. It's steep ass steps. Like, we walk into a fucking attic or something. <laughs> Treehouse. Treehouse vibes. That's very much it was giving me. I was just looking around like, Y'all should have just, bitch. I was speechless. I was like, this looks like a fucking trap house at this point. Bitch, dirty kitchen. Shit is everywhere. And he's like, oh, I just came back from a trip. Don't mind the mess. But what did shock me is he did have Baccarat on his little kitchen counter. I was like, oh my God, you wear Baccarat? Oh. Maybe this is where I'm supposed to be. Okay, and then I was like, okay, I'm about to get in the shower. So, the bathroom was cute. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. The bathroom was cute. It was renovated. So, I was comfortable taking a shower. So, he got me clothes. He got me pajamas. And I wish... I would go find the pajamas, but... He got me some pajamas. And he got me some slippers. But I got big ass feet, so I did not wear those. So, then I got up the shower. So, he smokes weed and i don't judge so we went outside in the back where the lake was looking towards the lake it was pretty it was a vibe so he could smoke and we just started talking so i'm just like questioning him because i want to know what the fuck is t like i don't know shit about him um i know a few things but i don't know every detail so and i am very i'll question a motherfucker like i want to know like i'm very a very curious person i like to know who i'm fucking with obviously so so i'm like so why don't you have a girlfriend like that's that'd be my first question for me is like why don't you have a girlfriend like what the fuck is up so because y'all know niggas always a fucking problem always a fucking problem so we talking and stood out to me something really stood out to me so he was telling me, um, like, I don't got a girl. I'll be focused on money. That's why I'm out here. It's easier to get money of what I do. I'm from. He's not from Wisconsin. He's from somewhere else. And he's been around traveling, going to school, woo, 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 and came here to get more money because it's easier to get money, I guess. So I'm like, but you want to have a girlfriend? Like, none of your friends come visit you. He's like, I'm running solo dolo. Like, he don't got no social media. He don't got shit. So, I was like, okay, whatever. I wasn't thinking nothing of it because, you know, like, I don't want no nigga with social media anyway. So, but I thought it was kind of weird because you don't, aren't from here. So, how are you keeping contact of, with people, you know? But, I mean, you can have, like, phone numbers and shit. But he act like he don't got no friends, nothing. So, I thought that was weird because he's a nurse and he's super friendly, super nice. And so... We just started talking and something really stood out to me that I really take into consideration of who I'm kissing and shit. So bitch, I must have looked in the light. I must have been looking at him in the dark because on his floor it is dim. Bitch, when this motherfucker smiled at me. <laughs> bruh, I was like, no fucking way. No way. Bitch, he had yellow ass teeth. I was like, what? I, I, it could be from the weed or something, but he had some yellow ass teeth. And I was just like, oh, hell no. And I'm a sucker for a nigga with a good smile. But, you know, at the, I'm still not judging. I'm still going with the flow. You know, we vibing. So, 
he get done smoking we go back in the house and he was just trying to be like uh cute and like he was like uh i should have gotten a shower first because i want to come sit down with you like right now and i was like <laughs> like you know laughing but i'm just checking out the scene you know little attic space trap house so he came and sat down by me and he's on little netflix so bitch strike number fucking one we going through the Netflix and y'all know like the login name is right there. It's a bitch name on the Netflix thing. He tried so hard to scroll past. Y'all know like in Netflix it'll be like continue watching for boo boo boo. But I already saw the girl name for the login. So he's trying to scroll. So at this point I'm going to question him because you trying to make it obvious that you don't want me to see his name. So I'm like who is the girl name that was on there and he was like oh first of all when i said that this is what he sound like that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want a bunch of fucking rubbish mumbling over words like niggas do and he was like oh then he finally got his words together and was like this is the this must have been the tenant that must have lived here before me So a tenant is gonna leave their Netflix and their TV right here for you to use. I don't fucking think so. But okay, I'm just like okay, I'm not gonna argue with him. He's not my man. I don't give a fuck. So we get to watching a movie and I keep questioning him. I'm like, so like he had tattoos. So I'm like, oh let me see all your tattoos. And that's when he told me I had a baby, which is fine. Um and then like I'm like, so when do you see her? And I'm very observing. Like, when I'm talking to somebody, I'm really, like, you know, observing, like, of their actions, their movements and stuff. So, it looks like he was getting very, very agitated by me questioning him. Because, you know, like, when niggas, like, lock up their jaw, you can see it, like, in their cheek right here. Bitch, he was just like, like, this bitch keep on fucking talking. This bitch keep on questioning me. And what stood out to me as well this motherfucker did not ask me no questions like he wasn't asking me nothing that i like i he did but it wasn't like how i was doing him because i'm a motherfucker that will question a motherfucker all day and he wasn't like it, it didn't seem like he was interested like he it wasn't like he was holding a conversation i hate niggas like that i like somebody i can talk to and he was not doing that i was holding the conversation I was asking him everything because I wanted to know, like, what is you doing out here? Like, you don't have no social media. A few minutes go by. Then, you know, this motherfucker start grabbing me. Like, coming, making me come closer, which is fine. Cuddle. Cuddle vibe. So, you know, we cuddling. And then he get the little feeling all over my thighs and shit. And you know, that's expected. Like I'm, you know, a little thigh rub, whatever. Then he rubbed my feet with baby oil. And mind you, he said baby oil in the text. But in my head, I'm like, hmm, what nigga has baby oil on deck? Like what nigga has baby oil on deck? So I'm just thinking all these thoughts in my head. He gets a little bit more feely, feely touchy. Goes under my shirt. I'm like, no like and i'm like what what are your intentions like i'm like what are you doing because no this is i hit him with the see this what we not finna do see this what we not finna do this now like what what are you doing and he's like Ugh, i just want to hold you like and i'm like okay so then a couple more minutes go by he starts sucking on my damn titties and I'm like, I didn't stop his ass at first, but I'm like, no, we not doing this. Like, like I let him get a little preview. So a couple more minutes go past, like he's still feeling touchy, whatever, cause we just chilling. 
So then um, he asked me, how long do, do I got you? And I was like, oh, till 12, because I'm not going to lay up with you. Like, you're not my man. I'm not going to lay up here, and I'm uncomfortable in this area. No. So the movie ends, and he wants to go in the bedroom. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, at this, it's only 10 a.m. So I'm like, I'm gonna just take a nap and I'm gonna wake up and I'm fucking leaving. So we walk in the bedroom, bitch. Y'all know how an addict um, has that roof over, like, this, I don't know, y'all. Like, the roof is just touching, like, it's damn near no high ceiling. It's just all roof and then, like, you know, space, little space. No fucking blanket. Dingy ass sheets. Flat ass pillows. Y'all know niggas always got flat ass pillows. And I was just like, mm-mm. Like, no. I don't know what the fuck is in this bed. Like, this literally looked like a trap house, y'all. And I did not know. I did not feel like he was like this. Like, oh God. still not. I'm still not judging. I mean, I'm kind of judging, but I'm. So then we get in the bed. He's shutting the shades or whatever. Lo and behold, I get in the bed first. And then he drops his motherfucking drawers. Dropped the motherfucking drawers. Got in the bed with me, butt ass naked. I'm like, what? Like at this point, I'm like, I can't believe this is happening because I didn't think he was like this. I didn't think he would try it. So our first encounter, like what? Like our first encounter, really? You really think I'm that easy? Like two plus two equal four? No, 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 no. This is not what we finna do. Like, you're not getting nothing from me, but I'm gonna lay here until I told you what time. And mind you, like it's just raw dick on me at this point. Raw dick on my back. <laughs> raw dick on me he feeling on me kissing on my back and i'm like no stop like no this is not what we finna do like why do you think that you deserve it like you don't deserve it we haven't even done shit he like i've been wanting you since day one since i seen you and we should just make it official now you don't have to drive so far you can just come here after work and just doing all this extra shit so I'm like, no, like, I'm still saying no, like, no, like, he's trying to, then he's like, oh, let me just, let me just feel it. And I'm like, no, but I was getting a little, you know, it was getting a little, you know, super so good. So he was like, oh, let me just stick it in. No, like, you're, you're raw. I don't fucking know you like that. You don't even know me. Like, and you fucking on my back raw. Like, are you fucking slow? I am not that bitch that'll get caught up in a situation where, oh, it was just in a moment. No, drunk in a moment. No, I would never, never fuck raw if you are not my man. I was like, you, I was like, you didn't even do shit for me to be doing this with you. Like, no. Like, who the fuck do you think I am? You didn't even court me. You didn't even show me no acts of service. You didn't do shit. I don't even know you like that. For all I know, you could be a stranger doing some shit. Or this could be your fucking whole house where you bring bitches to fuck. Because who got baby oil on deck? This trap ass house, like, there is no way. Messy ass house, it don't, it don't seem real. Then you gonna try to go down there and, like, eat it, you know? And some of y'all bitches would probably be like, oh, I'm gonna let him eat it. No, bitch. I got the fuck out of there. I was like, see... I was like, no, move. Like, I was like, I'm leaving. And he was like, you was not finna leave right now. I was like, yes, I am. Um, I left. I didn't say shit. I took the pajamas off. I put my work clothes back on and I got the fuck out of there, bitch, quick. Like, you was not finna disrespect me because I'm not an easy ass bitch. I don't know what bitches you been fucking up in here. Easy as fuck. Like, the nurses probably even fucking nurse practitioners, whatever the fuck. Whoever the fuck been trying you. Or all these bitches in the scene, I'm not the one. You might have had the right idea, but the wrong bitch. So I got the fuck out of there. I'm scratchy. So I went home and I told my mama, she was like, see, everything that glitters is not gold. And he was somebody that I thought was not like that. Like he was, 
I, I thought he was like a good boy because I usually go for the, the bad dudes. I, I thought he was like somebody that was good, pure, wanted to really get to know me. But, sis, this nigga. So, the next day he texted me. This way he texted me. He was like, hey, I'm, I'm sorry for the way I acted today wrong and ungodly of me i hope we can still be friends sis here we go here we go with the sis shit and i said first of all i'm not your sis and it's crazy because i didn't think you were like that i feel like you're a fraud i feel like you brought me to somewhere where you take women to fuck that wasn't your house but anyways it's cool no pressure because i swear to god y'all if i would have recorded like the house y'all would have been like no fucking way and if i would have showed y'all like his appearance like if y'all would have known him been around him you would have been like no fucking way but anyway and he was like that's funny i only live here like i said i wanted you from day one just got out of hand yesterday please forgive me i'm like i'm not holding anything against you baby i'm just not fucking with you and then he gonna say perfect okay and i haven't talked to him this did happen recently and i haven't talked to him since and i just like and i was literally after that i was sick to my stomach because i was thinking like he was so good and pure and fine but like you were just pushing up on me to fuck and you didn't even try to know my motherfucking favorite color. You wasn't trying to know shit about me, hobbies. I mean, he asked me what I do. But you didn't ask me what I do for fun, what I like to do. Like, you wasn't even asking none of that shit. And you think I'm gonna fuck you? You think I'm gonna fuck you? And you ain't even... What the fuck? You didn't even give me no fucking meal. I understand the circumstance, the situation we in right now. We can't go nowhere. But, I mean but i don't care like he didn't do shit i mean if i want to fuck you i will fuck you i will fuck if i want to fuck but if i don't get that vibe from you i'm not fucking you fuck with me and not trying to get to know no no sweetheart sorry but more of the story is everything that glitters and gold because i'm usually i usually date like the hustlers the the medium ugly niggas you know and i was like look i thought this was gonna be different but apparently not okay but yeah girl i thought nurse bay was it i really did but no but yeah so let me know in the comment section if you ever had like an encounter a work encounter a work relationship with somebody that y'all was pursuing did it work out or like any type of situation where you met a nigga for the first time first thing out and he trying to fuck like what do these niggas think we are like we are queens this is our temple and i'm not giving it up that easy because i know i got that good good okay and no hockey shit but it's true it's true it's true but yeah this here is bomb so make sure you check out the description box below this is abby hair but yeah y'all i'm still waiting on my my nigga my man to come i don't know who it may be but i am ready for him to come in my life like i'm ready i'm ready but obviously we can't have no type of social contact with anybody so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult but it's okay it's okay i hope he's worth the wait you know so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My camera is blinking, girl. We doing, we going strong.